Welcome back, folks, and today I'm going to show you how to take this ugly ass show and turn it into something nice. Now, to buy this ugly ass show, all you got to do is go on Walmart. They got this shit online right here for $34.96. That's a real good price. And they got that shit in white, too. You know what I'm saying? Mix and match. Have a white one, have a black one. They got your ass. And there's the measurements. And then up next, you need these lights right here. Now, I know they're for a TV and shit, but that's fine. Because we ain't using it for no TV. We're going to use it underneath the shelf. $5.99 per shelf. I end up getting like five of them. Well worth the price. I promise you that. Next up, multiple port USB charger. We ain't using it to charge shit. We're going to plug in them lights right in this box right here. The reason I picked this one is I can plug this shit right in the wall. I don't got to worry about no adapter. It'll get the job done. Next up. We got this extra extension cord, three feet. You're gonna need that shit to be able to get the bottom shelf cord to plug into that box. Cause where you gonna put it at? You gotta make sure they all reach. And that's gonna come in handy. After that, you're gonna need this little short one foot cord. Because like I said, you're gonna need that shit to reach. And then after that, you're gonna need this cake shelf thing right here. Now, we're gonna use that for the action figures. There's the measurements right there. This shit is top quality. That's the most expensive shit. $45.99. I end up getting three of them bitches, but it is well worth it. You will not be disappointed. I promise you ass that. And that's all you need. So what I'm gonna be displaying on this shelf, I got a whole bunch of custom action figures that I personally made. And I got them all over the place. And them three bins right there. Plus I got some more on the table. That's a whole bunch of figures. And I gotta put that shit somewhere. And I want it to look right. So, I'm going to put them up there. But first, I need to put these lights. Here they are right there. Them television lights that we're going to put right under each shelf. And then after I got all that shit set up, we're going to come over here. And I got one of these cake stands already built. Little cupcake shit. And we're going to put two on each shelf all the way down. And then some on the top. I want to fill that whole bitch up. I want to see all my figures. It's going to hold 168 plus. So the first step in this plan is to set all these lights up just like this in this pattern. Easiest way to do it. And then you're going to take that cord and stick it right through the side, right out the back. Now I'm using this right here just to test it out. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure it works. I don't want no problems because it'll be fucked up if you set all them lights up and they don't work. So definitely make sure you test it beforehand. Now right here, you see that shit? That's plenty bright enough for all the action figures. You get all the different settings, yada, yada. A great price just for some cheap ass lights. And that's just going to work flawless. And like I said, I'm going to set them up on each shelf. Now, two of them shelves are built in. You're going to just have to do that shit upside down to set that shit up. But the other three shelves, they come out. So right here, I got the one shelf out. As you can see, I was easily able to put that shit on. And I just fold it over, and then go over, go down, go the other way, up, down, around, and that's it. And let's test that shit. You see that shit right there? Perfect. That's just what I wanted. Now, right here, folks, this is where I put the little peg for the shelves for everything to fit perfectly. You put that shit right in hole number three, right in the middle. Now, right here, I got all five lights set up on each shelf, all of them working in unison, that shit looks good. It's perfect. Just what I was looking for. The plan worked out. And now right here, this is a temporary setup right here that I used with that box that I had. I didn't get the box in the mail that I put in the description quite yet. I know it's looking a little sloppy. We're going to clean that shit up in a minute. But that's how you're basically going to do it. Once you get that box in the mail, I'll show you all that in a second. Now that you got that shit done, the next thing is to take these cupcake shells and hook that shit up. Now for that $45.99, you get four of them bitches, and it's well worth it. And remember, you're going to need three of these four packs to be able to fit every single shelf with two of them plus two on the top. It's going to work out. It's a perfect fit. I was shocked. I thought I was going to have some issues, but it worked. And I'm going to set all these bitches up. All you got to do is just screw the legs in them. Very easy to put together. And that shit looks damn good. Look at that shit on that shelf. Just what I was looking for. The one thing this came with was a nice little cleaning rag just in case they get dirty. But let's set them all up real quick. And there it is, folks. All looking so goddamn good. All up on this shelf. 
working our way up. See all that nice illumination? That shit looks good. Oh, and then right there on the top, make sure you put that shit back. You know what I mean? Have it damn near leading on the wall. Everything's going to be all right. So now I'm going to take all these figures. I'm going to set them up in a certain way. And I'm going to make it all look just right. Now right here, I wanted to just test them out. Just put them up there just to see how they sit. Now put this rug right here just in case one of them bitches want to take a leap of faith. A suicide dive and break. And then right there at the top. Yeah, I'm a little scared. So we're going to do an extra step. And right here, I put that tacky all up on the feet. This shit right here, $2.99. You get it. Hobby Lobby, wherever you want. You know what I mean? I'll put a link in the description if you want. But that shit's easy to find. That shit works wonders. And we're going to set them all up with the tacky on the feet to make sure these bitches do not go nowhere. And then right there, folks, that's how much you need. Just a little bit. Take it there. And look at this shit. That shit is stuck. It's picking up the shelf. That's just going to get it done. Now, right here, folks, I got the plug in the mail. I cleaned that shit up a little bit. And that's how you basically want to set it up. Put it on the side. That's not going to really be visible like that. Set up them two extension cords. Plug them in the box. And your ass is done. Now, right here, I got all my figures set up. I got to go through them because I want to give each shelf, you know what I mean, a theme. You know what I'm saying? And I got a whole bunch of bitches to work through. There's over 180-some, 90-some figures. So not everybody's going to make the cut. Some of them I'm going to put in one of my little diorama displays. But for the most part, all them bitches is going to go on that shelf. And that's just going to look hot. Oh, I cannot wait to get this shit done. It's going to take me a minute. I'm probably going to start from the bottom and work my way up the top. Just in case you got a suicide death drop going on. I don't need that happening. But with the power of editing... Here it is, folks. I got all that shit done. Every single figure, all on the line. And there it is. We're going to start from the bottom. Right here, I got some people from video games and shit all up on this shelf. Back row, you see some Sonic and Mario figures working that way. You see Alpha shit in there, some Dragon Ball Z, some fucking uh, some Smurf and shit with his dick out right there. You got Street Fighter, X-Men, Mortal Kombat. And then right here, we got people on TV. You know what I'm saying? Some real people all up in the back. You got Cobra Kai. You got Terminator, Rambo. And the line right there, you got all horror figures. Right there, you got Walter White. This bitch with Jesse Pinkman. Marty McFly, RoboCop, Darth Vader. We got Popeye and shit. Biker Mice from Mars. And then last but not least, we got the Thundercats. Now up here, we got all these DC figures, but mostly Batman figures. Right there in the back line, we got Nightmare Batman, a whole bunch of different badass looking Batmans, followed up by some more Batmans with the ones from the different movies and shit. Uh, ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, Batman. Up next, we got bad guys mixed in with all his different Robins, Red Hood up in that bitch. And then right here, we got more DC figures that ain't Batman. We got a whole bunch of bitches all the way in the back. I know we got Doc Ock back there, but I had to put his ass somewhere. He's got them long ass tentacles. Y'all see we got the Rock Black Adam and that bitch. We got Stephen the Mel Green Arrow, a whole bunch of DC figures. And then right here, we just got a mix and match of different figures that I can use in the Motu line. A lot of these figures I just made up with some different pieces because they ass look like they were going the Motu line. A lot of Tiger people, then all my snake men in the front and shit representing hard. Oh, I love that line. And then right here, I got my TMNT Motu crossover line that I did last year, way before that bitch came out. And then right there, I know I got a little mix of Bane back there. His ass is big. Chester Cheetah had to put his ass somewhere. We got them all right there, folks. A whole bunch of figures. Over 170 figures I was able to fit on this shelf. Most of them got seven in the line. Some got eight. A couple got six. Now I want to show you a little shake test real quick. Look at this shit. I know it's hard to see, but I'm shaking the shit out this shelf. And these bitches are standing strong. Look at that shit. Shaky, shaky, shake. They ain't fucking falling. I don't got to worry about shit. And neither will your ass as long as you put that tacky on the shelf. You see that shit? I punched that bitch and that shit still ain't falling. It looks good. Now right here, here's some of the extra figures that did not make the cut. But that's because these figures could definitely go in my Motu displays. Some nice ass figures right there. Even got Juggalo in this bitch right there. You see that shit? All this shit definitely got the job done for me. I'm very happy 
with how that shelf came out. That's all you got to do, folks. A cost-effective way to be able to display your figures. And you see the shit right here. All the figures in the Motu line, all up in these boxes. But I'm going to put them in my Motu displays, which is one display right here. I got to put that shit on the wall, hook it up all the way around, and fuck it. I'm going to show you how that shit comes out. There it is, folks. That shit came out damn good. And that's where a lot of them figures are going to go. But then right there, folks, that's all you need to get it done. I'll put the links in the description. Just buy that shit. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee it. If there's anything else you want to know, leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.